Have you ever dreamed of transferring your old Pokemon from the Generation 1 and 2 Game Boy games into Generation 3 on the Game Boy Advance? I too have that dream. So I researched a way to make it happen. Through normal trading, this is impossible, since the original Game Boy and Game Boy Color can't communicate with the Game Boy Advance. But with some emulation and save file manipulation, I believe it can be done. First off, I want to give credit to the YouTube channel, Link Aura, atop the fourth wall, since his video on how to trade Gen 1 and 2 into Gen 3 and up was instrumental for figuring some of this out. The video is from several years ago, so some of the steps are a little different nowadays, but it pointed me in the right direction. I'll leave a link to it in the description, and I highly recommend you check it out. I already had the equipment necessary to attempt this, which includes the GB operator. I recently made a video showing that off, so I highly recommend you go and watch that if you want to see more about how it works. But basically, it let me back up the save files from my copies of Pokemon Crystal and Pokemon Emerald. These are the save files from the playthroughs of those games I did on the channel. And I had a lot of great Gen 2 Pokemon that I wanted to transfer forward so I can use them in Gen 3 and beyond. After my save files were backed up, I downloaded a program called PKX Delta. Then once I ran it, it asked me to install Java. But then, after running it, you'll be presented with a pretty simple screen. Then you can go ahead and open up both of the save files. At which point, you'll be able to view your party and all the Pokemon boxes from both games. Then, it's as simple as copying a Pokemon from the Crystal save file, then pasting it into an empty slot in the Pokemon Emerald save file. You can also edit a lot of the details about each Pokemon, but I wanted to keep them as unmodified as possible. However, we will need to make some changes. Since EVs work differently in Gen 1 and 2 versus Gen 3, you'll likely need to edit those values so the combined total doesn't exceed 510, or else the Pokemon will be seen as illegitimate if you ever try to move it into Pokemon Bank. You can edit these manually for each Pokemon, or you can just go to the Auto menu and choose the Validate option. Once you're finished, then all you have to do is go to File and save your changes, and that's about all there is to it. You can then close out a PKX Delta and load up your Gen 3 save into an emulator. My preferred one is MGBA. And if everything worked, you should be able to see all of your Pokemon in the boxes you copied them to. You can then copy the save back to your physical cartridge. And since we've now mended the broken bridge between Gen 2 and 3, you should have a clear path to trade them forward into each subsequent generation. I hope to take all these Pokemon and continue transferring them forward, collecting experience and various ribbons along the way. I'll probably do another video in the future showing the process of transferring a Pokemon from Gen 3 and saying it all the way through the various games until it arrives in Pokemon Sword and Shield. That will be quite the journey. Well, I think I'll wrap things up for now. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in trying this yourself, I'll have all the links you should need in the description. But this is a video I've been planning for a long time. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel while you're at it, that would be awesome. I'm almost at 500 subscribers, and I'm considering doing a giveaway to celebrate that occasion. But let's make it happen. So everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.